What's good, YouTube? This video is going to be about dating rules for DMing guys on social media. Before I start, I just want to say that if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching and or email advice, you can get that at girltalkwithguys.com. The link is in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section. Anyway, on last week's Zoom call, I promised somebody that I would make a video outlining some potential rules that they should follow when DMing guys. Rules built around not fatiguing themselves by doing too much. Rules built around keeping them in the game before they grow tired. Dating does not have to be a traumatic experience and every disappointment doesn't really have to affect you. But sometimes if you stay too long or if you hope too long for someone to change the ways they're dealing with you, you can grow tired and you can grow fatigued and you can want to give up. Don't take DMs and dating online so personally. A lot of people are going to come and go. A lot of people will visit your DMs. They will grace the presence of your DMs. That doesn't mean it has to be traumatic and you don't have to feel the sting of rejection every time one doesn't work out. You just have to date more efficiently and start to follow these six rules. Rule number one. Yes, you can DM first. But there's a catch. If you decide to DM a man first, please do so about the content on his page and not that you think he's handsome or how cute you think he is or how much you like his pictures, unless they're pictures of nature and that's his theme. It's okay to compliment a man's photography. It's not so much okay to compliment a man's face or looks. If he's a photographer, that's okay. But if you're talking about you like his pictures and all of them are of him, not so much. You have to start with the same type of substance that you're hoping to get back from him. I personally believe it's okay for women to start a conversation with any guy they want to at any time they want to. You're not giving up much just starting a conversation. Flirting and conversing are different. I'm talking about conversing. But again, if you DM him first, please be addressing the ideas or the things presented in his content on the page and not kissing his ass with validation. A lot of women do this, so I need to say it. Please don't try to approach him like a gentleman. Women seem to have tried to pick up the baton after men dropped it, and, and all the chivalry they say they're not getting, they try to provide a man now in some ways or some form. Don't do it. Don't try to approach him like a gentleman. I would start if you're going to DM a man by asking him a question. As in, that beach picture that you posted last night, where is it? Or that food pic you posted yesterday looked really good. What restaurant is that? Where is it at? Or if it's apparent that he's passionate about something specific because it's all over his page, ask him about that. Give him an opportunity to talk to you and explain something to you. Any guy who's happy that he has you alone in his DMs with your full attention will try to stretch the interaction will try to stretch the exchange. If he doesn't, he either doesn't like you or wants to be chased. Neither of those are good, so move on. With that said, rule number two, one paragraph at a time. Think about the Twitter 140 character limit. Some women get really excited and start writing super long messages that can't fully be addressed and makes them appear in many cases to be overeager. Listen, ladies, observable excitement to talk to a man that you're not sure can fully be trusted is counterintuitive. Never show your cards that early. It makes an overt display of your intent to impress him. On top of that, many women have observed that the longer their messages get to him, the shorter and lazier his messages get to them. That's a sure sign that a man is taking for granted your interest in him. Listen, if you've written a lot, if you've written three pages to his three paragraphs, he's going to be pretty sure that he's your Tinder crush or Instagram crush or Facebook crush and so on. Only give as much as he responds to and talking too much makes him feel more familiar to you than he is, even though you've done all the talking. New clients of mine often send me their text threads and conversations in the DMs asking if it seems by looking at the conversation if the guy is interested. Quite honestly, in most cases, it usually looks like two weeks of him writing two or three sentences for every two or three paragraphs that she writes. That creates a dynamic of you working harder to keep his attention. While online, it's just writing too much and maybe telling him too much. But in person and on dates, 
it becomes doing too much and going too far to keep his attention and to earn his affection. As early as your first couple of DMs, if he's not required to fill in the blanks conversationally, he won't. And this is where low effort starts. With that said, rule number three, never take any guy's number unless he's already asked for yours. Men who don't want shit always try to give a woman their number and say, hit me up sometime without ever asking for her number or pursuing her offline. Don't do this dumb shit. It won't serve you. When he says, here's my number, hit me up sometimes. He might as well be yelling at you, chase me. Here, take my number, chase me. Chase me like a gentleman, woo me. Again, this is a role reversal that won't work out in your favor. The only time you should take a man's number is when you're having a great discussion and he asks for your number, but you're not comfortable with that. So as a compromise, you ask for his. Just so he doesn't feel totally rejected. And once you feel comfortable, text him and say, listen, you asked for my number earlier. I didn't feel comfortable. I'm okay with it now. You can call me anytime. Winky face emoji. Some men want to be courted like women. So they never ask for your number. They just offer theirs. Don't go for it. In fact, straight up tell a guy, listen, that's a guy's job. <laughs> or I don't, I don't call guys first. That's not how it works. Be very honest. Don't try to save face and don't try to avoid the conflict of addressing the bullshit that he's presenting. Just simply say, listen, I'm not that type of woman. If a man wants me, he's going to call me. He's going to text me. I'm not chasing no man down. If a guy does ask for your number and you're not comfortable giving it to him and you decide you want to continue talking on the app, just know that a guy who's really interested will talk to you online as long as it takes for you to feel comfortable. Many of the guys who try to just give you their number do it as a means to end the conversation. Genuine interest isn't looking for a means to stop a conversation. It's looking to extend the conversation. When I met my wife on MySpace after about two days of going back and forth in the message box, I asked for her number. She told me she didn't give out her number, that she didn't feel comfortable doing that, but she did take mine. That didn't stop me though. I was genuinely interested. So I just spoke to her online for three more weeks in her MySpace inbox until she felt comfortable. Actually, until she expected to hear from me, until we talked so much on MySpace, it was actually odd if I didn't speak to her that day. After that, she called me and let me know that I could call her. And we both gave an even effort from that point. I say all that to say this. If a man is really interested, even in the DM stage, he's not going to be trying to cut the conversation short and drop his number like a glass slipper. Once he knows he's welcomed, he will assert himself and try to get to know you. Moving on. Rule number four. Cut weak conversations short. While things can be shallow with the first few messages, conversation should grow in complexity after a while. If you notice that he's avoidant to exchange seriously and attempting to banter and flirt instead of trading real ideas and conversing, just stop writing him. That could look like him not being attentive to what's being said to him or being lazy and abrupt in his responses or switching the subject to a more mature substance that you're trying to add and introduce into the conversation back to banter and flirting or any other method of blocking conversational progress. If he's not being thorough or he's not writing enough, cut it off. Don't write a bunch of paragraphs while he's writing a bunch of lazy ass acronyms and dropping a bunch of emojis as if they're words, as if they give you something, as if they're personal. And of course, some men aren't the best communicators, but if you want to actually have great conversations with your future man, this needs to be something that you look into. This needs to be something that you pay attention to. Communication style and skills have to be a qualifier. Don't exhaust yourself trying to squeeze water from a rock and extend a dry ass conversation just because you like a guy's profile pictures. So many of y'all determine y'all like a guy just because you've seen his profile pictures when he hasn't said anything of substance to you in the DM. Cut weak conversations short and move on. Rule number five, know when you are being seduced. Please limit sexual tension building. If his word choice always has sexual undertones or he's being overtly sexual and you want more than a hookup, why are you wasting your time? He clearly isn't trying to present anything to you. Online dating, the D is abundant, but the intent to love is not. 
A guy's conversational choice is usually the direction that he hopes to grow and evolve the relationship. Though there are some exceptions and some bullshitters. The things that a man might say to you allude to the impression on you that he's trying to make. Extended small talk and banter and flirting are usually hookup indicators, not genuine intrigue, not curiosity. While a man must want to ravish you before he even talks to you or takes you seriously, he should also want to speak to you before and after that, if that would have happened. He should also see more than a physical conquest. You can tell what he sees in you sometimes through his conversation or lack thereof. If he can't even pretend to care about your mind or beliefs, if he can't even pretend to care to want to share his, if he goes right to attraction when he DMs you and hovers around flirting and witty banter and more flirting and sexual tension building, if you want more than that, you need to cut that conversation short. Don't waste your time trying to figure out if he has any more depth than he's presented you. Because men with depth understand that you shouldn't present a woman your sex first, you should present her your mind. Some of y'all need to stop trying to build from lust if you want love. Moving on, last but not least, rule number six. Don't overcompensate for his low effort. Just move on to the next prospect. Don't exhaust yourself getting upset or offended or disappointed. Just date more efficiently. When you cut lame conversations short and refuse to take a man's number who only intends to bullshit you through text message now instead of DM, you save energy. Overcompensating for a man's low effort is what's exhausting all the women out here. You trying to bridge the gaps yourself. If a guy isn't trying to talk to you off the app or extending his message length after some time, cut it off. If he takes too long to respond, cut it off. Stop trying to salvage any progress on his behalf. Every once in a while, look at who's talking more and who's sharing what. Go back through your messages. Make sure that you're not having an unbalanced approach to what you hope to be a connection. I don't care if he still watches all your stories or he still likes all your pictures or flirts with you every day. If he's not responding to what you're saying and asking him in your messages, or if he's too slow to respond, or if he doesn't address everything that you asked him, cut it off. Don't get mad, get unavailable. Get rid of aimless men in your DMs. Get rid of aimless men on your social media accounts. Guys who don't appear to know what they want from you, they're just there. Do that also in real life. If he has no direction, he will waste your time. Some of y'all stop everything y'all doing because y'all are chatting online with a handsome profile pic when y'all need to really learn how to walk and talk. Until a man gives you a reason to take him seriously, don't take him seriously. Anyway, I think I've ranted enough. That's all I got for now. Follow me at carefic 24 on Instagram. If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can get that at girltalkwithguys.com. I'm going to get with y'all later.